This is part three of our continuing series entitled Brett Kavanaugh is Christine Blasey Ford. So how do you get someone that looks like Brett Kavanaugh to look somewhat female like Christine Blasey Ford? Well, I think we should start by hearing from Jonna Mendez. She is the former chief of disguise for the CIA and was very active during the Cold War. She handled many operations against Russia. So let's hear what she has to say. I, when I came into disguise, that was starting to produce some fruit. And one of the first masks that came out of production was, was for me. It was an African-American man. It looked good. It looked fabulous. And we took it to the head of CIA, Bill Webster. He said, oh my God, let's take it to the White House. I said, I can't, it looks good, but I can't, you know, I can't really walk it and talk it. This is not realistic. It's just to show you the capability. He said, well then go make one that you can wear. So we did. Uh, we made a second one that turned me into a younger, prettier, better, coughed um, woman. I loved this mask. I, I wanted to take it home, when I, but they wouldn't let me. Judge Webster liked it, and he said, well, let's take it to the White House. I said, I don't have any idea. I have nothing. He said, don't worry. Just, you know, come with me. And so we did. I went, we went in the Oval Office. There was a circle of us. Brent Scowcroft, Bob Gates, John Sununu, Judge Webster, me, and another briefer. I showed him some photographs of disguises we had done for him when he was chief of disguise. We said, you, you might remember these. He did. I said, so I'm here to show you the next level. He said, so show me. I said, well, I'm, I'm wearing it. And I'll, I'll take it off and show it to you. And he said, no, 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 don't take it off. And he got up. He came out. He walked and he looked. He went behind me. He's checking it out. He went back. He sat down. He said, take it off. So I just peeled off my face. John Sununu wasn't paying any attention to me because he was making notes. He was going to go next. Mm. He had some things he wanted to say to the president. He glanced up. He almost fell off his chair. Bush really liked it. Bush, Bush was smiling. Uh, uh. So we talked a few minutes. It was, uh, it was a successful deployment. Ten years later, I got a copy of a photograph, her photograph, that they had airbrushed the mask out. And this is the only photograph I ever got. So I'm sitting in front of the president's desk with my hand in the air, mm. I'm holding the mask, showing it to him, and they airbrushed it out. So you're seeing the recent pictures because now we can talk about masks. A year ago, I could not tell you this story. It was still considered Why classified. Why could you say it now? Because they, they have allowed it now. Which to me, you know, what does that mean? Uh, sources and methods are classified. This evidently is no longer classified. Perhaps they're not using these anymore. Or maybe they've gotten wow. so good that what I'm saying has nothing to do with the new ones. Or maybe they've gotten wow. so good that what I'm saying has nothing to do with the new ones. My guess is the technology has become so much more advanced that they have no issue with releasing this technology that was used for these silicone masks back being used during the Cold War. Let's take a look at some of the areas that appliances were used to disguise Kavanaugh's appearance. First, we have this very noticeable dent or dimple on his, the crown of his, or the bridge of his nose, rather. So we're going to zoom in, and I'm going to outline exactly where you can see the markings of the appliance, um, the very subtle edges. You can see that, right? I mean, it's very noticeable, very obvious when you get this perspective. Now we're going to take a look at the appliance that is um, attached to the upper eyelid to give that droopy um, eyelid appearance. This one isn't quite as obvious, but then you can understand why. It's being applied right beneath the eyebrow and uh, in the crease of the eye, but it's there. 
The one feature that I was having a little difficulty reconciling was the eye size. It seemed that Blasey Ford's eyes hung down, drooped um, just a little bit more than did Kavanaugh's. But then I noticed under the eye, there is something applied that starts about mid, uh, mid part of the eye, runs to the, the outer corner of the eye, and then there is some very fine cord that is attached to the outer edge and runs uh, in a downward fashion to the bottom area of the ear that you can just ever so uh, slightly see. And I imagine it runs beneath um, another silicone appliance, so very easy to mask that way. The only I guess mistake I would say that I see is they did not do a very good job of covering um, Kavanaugh's eyebrow. You can literally see where it splits. Here's a clip that shows exactly how these pieces of silicone are seamlessly applied. <laughs> And that turkey neck they applied, woo, that was really something else. That was a beauty. Let's take a look at how one of those pieces of silicone is applied. So there you have it. I mean, it's not too hard to imagine with this technology in silicone and masks, etc., uh, and with an expert applying the makeup that this could not be accomplished. And uh, stay tuned because our next segment is going to start getting into some of the really good stuff. Thanks for uh, watching and please uh, like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back with another segment very soon. Take care.